privilege to be the only lady here as one of the chief guests here. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, well, the distinguished guests on the dais and uh, the lovely audience, and I see a lot of students here. Uh, I'm very happy to be amidst y'all to be into this uh, conclave where the theme is strengthening democracy through public relations. Well, my dear friends, uh, strengthening democracy through public relations is a lovely topic, but it's been an age-old topic also. Uh, it would be too rudimentary to define what is democracy or what is public relations because we've all gone beyond this. Well, traditional power structures and traditional hierarchies, as you're aware, is disrupting. Control and power are moving from institutions to individuals. Every individual has started recognizing his voice. You need not be a celebrity. You need not be a politician. You need not be a CEO of an organization. Just an ordinary person who can make others hear our voice. Anyone with an access to the social media can become powerful and can be heard. Well, PR professionals, uh, some of our friends also had a few uh, misgivings about this profession, probably the growth of it or the way the, pro or it, any, most of the things which have been done professionally, and still PR professionals are dubbed as suited, booted, and pink shirt sporting party lovers according to my friend, Mr. B.N. Kumar, who's a governing council, Public Relation Council of India. Well, PR professionals will need a broad skill set. We need to be good at, actually we are multi-skilled. PR professionals are more multi-skilled, where they need to be good at writing, event planning, maintaining relationships to be successful in public re relations. A strong PR involves two-way communication and not one way. And we need to be good listeners to be a good communicator. And we need to act on suggestions which most of us are doing, but still there's a lot of improvement to be done. Mere listening is not good enough. How we act on the suggestions, it seems as we're respecting others' opinions too. Because as you know, democracy goes by majority. Well. A communicate, when I talk about communication for the PR professionals, even the Vedas were insisting on Madhura Bhashana, Mrida Bhashana, or Satya Vachana, which need not, the third one need not be true at all, being a PR professional. Well, spoken and written communication pertaining to the democracy we are practicing has to be really good, and we need to build trust and lead with our mind and hearts, and take people along with us is very important and you have the team to inspire and not command and we need to empower them to take decisions and practice grammatical writing renan martin how many of us know renan martin the present pr professionals have to be thank you thank you for the uh, hands raised for renan martin all right practicing grammatical writing we need to have our own blogs and lead a disciplined life, not necessarily a controlled life. Well, communication world is the most dynamic industries in India, and it has become personalized, and there is a steady drive towards TRP, they say. It is not the regular TRP, we say. It is transparency. It is the rationality with how we address things and the purposefulness for evidence-based outcomes. We at Public Relations Council of India believe and adhere to democratic communication. That is why we are growing not only as a national body, but also as a global platform. We even just floated the WCC, which is the World Communicators Council. Now the PR professionals, we, we need to be prepared for the real time. We hardly have minutes to respond since instant responses have become the order of the day and we have to live up to our clients' expectations. There is too much of public and media gaze. Expectation level has skyrocketed. We as communication professionals in a democratic setup have to be more strategic. Higher standards of corporate governance have to be followed and one has to keep adding value, which is 24 bar seven. Well, we should be aware of the VUCA syndrome. 
in a crisis era which has to be tackled, which is being volatile, unpredictable situations, complex situations, and ambiguous situations, where even the viral videos can damage brands. So speed is the essence, and communication professionals, we have to be hyper-transparent. The relationship, again, now in a democratic setup between public relations and the media is still evolving. The media revolution has created a lot of chaos, it is said, and the media, they also say, has crea created a chaotic young generation. How many of the youth here would agree to that? And we have resulted in pointing fingers to the media, which is found triggering for this turmoil. Instead of the shikai, we use brands, like we use different shampoos. And instead of our breakfast, where poha, chapati, or the idli dosa concept, we are into the two minutes noodles, we are into the oatmeals, we are into the different cereals, the fast food, which they say the media seems to be influencing a lot. And instead of celebrating Makara Shankranti or many more festival, we are more interested in celebrating Valentine's Day. So who's responsible for all this? Which means we need to be media literate consumers. Media literate means we should be aware of the influences that guide the media organizations. We have to be sensitive to the ways of seeing the media content as a means of learning about our culture and to be sensitive to the ethical dimensions of media activities, which means media literacy tools have to be adopted by the PR professionals. We have to consider the authorship. Why is a message created? Who is the audience to whom they are targeting it? What is the inner message into it? Don't simply hear, don't simply read, and don't accept it. Explore and try to think why certain choices have been thrust on us. Evaluate the audience. Analyze the content. Why are certain things being put into our head? As PR professionals, my dear friends, and also as a future citizens, to safeguard democracy, we, need, we should not be echoes. We should be able to identify our voice. Being an echo is very much easier, but raising our own voice requires a lot of individuality, and there is a lot of logic going into it. Well, I quote Sheryl Sandberg, who said, her mentor used to say, our career is no more a ladder. It's a jungle gym. You'll have to stretch, move sideways, climb, go up, go down, and everywhere. So as PR professionals, if we are able to look at our career as a jungle gym, I think we would fare much better. And we need to move away from calf paths. This can help us to move away from our comfort zone. The minute we leave our comfort zone, our life begins. So again, another I quote, get onto a rocket ship and don't ask, where is my seat? Just board the rocket ship and keep building your network. Don't search for jobs, my dear friends. We have to search for networking. Well, Arbindo said, it's not only by constant, it is only by constant inner growth that newness can be found in life. So let us join hands and give new meaning to democracy as PR professionals. Thank you so much.